Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Told you I'd be back. With some more Thunder Chief build action, baby. Okay. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my parachute box and I'm hooking all my airlines to it so I can uh, mount it in there permanently. Permanent. <laughs> over screws in case I ever have to take it apart but what I got to do is put my airline on here and put some safety wire on there and one of my new friends Jim from Scottsdale Arizona showed me the coolest tool for this I didn't ask his permission but I figured if he showed it to me It'd be alright if I showed it to you guys. Okay. First thing you need is a multi-tool. <laughs> a flat, straight tip multi-tool. Okay. Then you chuck you up a drill bit. Kind of a small one. I don't know, about an eighth inch hole. Put your hole in it. <laughs> see, that? see that little hole in that the screwdriver? Okay. And you take your piece of brass too. I can kind of smash one end a little bit. Bam, stick it over there like that. Okay? Let me set it aside for a second. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta, at least, I gotta let the dog get out. Come on, Sammy. She's getting old like me. When you're, when you got to go, you got to go. <laughs> okay, now I'm taking my safety wire. This is a, a .020 gauge and uh, soft steel, quarter pounds to weight, and this stuff works perfectly. Okay, this is actually safety wire. That's what it is. Helps a lot when you use something that's what's supposed to be used for, you know. And this is just a little easier if you make that wire a little bit long. That's probably a bit too long. You see this ribbon tubing, I like to leave it together. All the way to the valve. You know, ain't no sense in stripping that in two. It makes things a little neater. Alright? Then since we left that together, we got to do this first. Just wrap it around there and bring them tips together. Alright? Stick them two wires. See, and it don't matter. You can make that hole a little bit bigger. And it's easier for us old guys with glasses to put them wires in that hole. Alright. It's going to bend them down, get them out the way. Bam! Slip that piece of brass tubing right over them. Oh, I'll smash that a little bit more. Okay. Then just pull her up taut. Start twisting. Start twisting, baby. Yeah, I need to get that a little... T I actually need a little bit smaller piece of brass tubing. That's all I had. You know, if we bend them wires up like that, that'll hold it on there. Just kind of bend a little U in your wire. And just kind of twist her, twist her. When you start to get close, that's when you got to put her over the nipple. I'll work it over there. Then you got to pull it up so it don't slip off the tube. And hold it right next, right where it's supposed to go. Alright. And then all you can do that with that is get her good and snug. Alright, go ahead and clip it off. Bam. Now we finish her up with the needle nose. Just helps you get it started, you know, for a tool that don't take no time to make and, and it really don't even ruin your screwdriver. <laughs> and your multi-tool. And you want to get it on there so it's doing its job nice and taut. This soft steel 
You can actually twist it a little bit before it breaks. You don't want to break it. Okay. Let's say check the tautness. Make sure it's got that tube smashed. Didn't come off the back side. And we're good to go. But man, you guys see me mess with these lines. You know, in uh, Phoenix, I was still dealing with <laughs> a busted airline. I couldn't believe it. It must have been weakened from Waco, but it was in this clear tubing. And it was really kind of where I had it next to the fiberglass, not even close to the turbine or nothing. There was a little poof hole in it. As soon as I aired up the brakes in Arizona on the 16, poof. But uh, it wasn't too hard to track down. We just fixed it right there. Got some flying in on the F-16. Now, where's my little box of goodies? Uh -huh. Gotcha. I got my tees from Camlax. These are the Festo tees. These are nice tees right here. Okay. Why don't I get all this on there and put my heat shield tape and maybe some uh, some material over them. You know, try and protect them from uh, that tube. The only time it should get real hot and where these are going to be at is if we get a hot start. You know, and uh, cause that that'll get that that tube glowing red, and uh, then it don't matter where they are; <laughs> they're probably going to get burnt. But that's why I'm putting uh, making this removable. You know, then I could even just cut these and put some quick disconnects on them if I need to. Then I'll cut them up here. Now if I do have issues, I can fix them pretty easy. Well, these dang things go on there tough, man. They're bigger than the ones that come with them jets from China, you know. Them things slip right on. But the bad thing about that, <laughs> they'll slip right off. Well, I've had it happen. Oh, I didn't really cut that one short enough. I'll just put them up there like so. It also helps to have these tees, when you're done twisting, pointed where you want them to go. So that keeps you in dog clippers. Someone gave me this idea. Dog toenail clippers. Huh. Works awesome for cutting these tubing. Cuts it nice and straight. You know, if that thing's cut at an angle, that dude will pop off there every time. that safety wire on there and I gotta come in here and put some safety wire but with this new technique from my buddy Jim from Scottsdale he's a pretty good old guy said he's originally from Canada how much time we got left uh oh 57 seconds I'll have to tell you old Jim's story a little later <laughs> But I am going to finish put my wire on this. Then I'm going to get my wing out, I think, and get that dude finished up. I'm going to work on my ducks. I think I got them figured out. I'm just going to have to lay up another one. But we'll be back with some more Bob TV on the final leg to getting the Thunder Chief in the air. Even in these tight spots, this is going to be hard to do.